Me and Jameson are in Miami right now. The traffic outside is murder. We're waiting for it to die down a little bit. And then me and James are gonna hit the town. And who knows, we might just exchange numbers. Not with each other, because I already have Jameson's number, but maybe with some of the fine people here in Miami. Now in last week's video, I talked about how to actually talk to someone in the first place and make sure you engage with more people. But I preempted the question that I knew would come, which is, okay, it's all very well talking to someone, but how do I actually exchange details with them once I'm talking to them? Otherwise, they're just another person who leaves my life as quickly as they came in, never to be seen or heard from again. So this video is gonna be the four ways to exchange details with an attractive bloke. And if you're a guy, four ways to exchange details with a lovely, elegant lady. Number one. The old classic napkin trick. It's not really a trick, is it though, Jameson? It's more of a, just a maneuver. You don't have to use a napkin, all right? We, we imagine the old fashioned scenario of writing down your number on a napkin and giving it to someone. It doesn't have to be a napkin. It could just be a piece of paper, it could be a receipt, it could be a business card, dare I say it. You may never have spoken to this person before. You see them in a bar or in just any setting and you say, listen, you're really attractive and you seem like you have a great energy. I thought I'd, give you my number and see if we got on over the phone. It's kind of ballsy. Nothing really bad can happen from it because the worst that can happen is they don't call you. Some women would say the worst that could happen is they think that I'm over desperate or they think that I'm being overly sexual. Uh, you can always correct them later on when they do get in touch with you. Uh, but it's not a bad thing. A lot of guys are really thankful when a woman comes over and does that because they weren't, they didn't know how to go over to her in the first place or Maybe they didn't even notice her because she was over there and they didn't make, make eye contact. You're giving them something, but you're not asking for anything in return. So for any woman who's like, oh, I don't want to seem desperate like I'm asking for his number, you're not. You're giving him yours. He has to actually make the next investment by uh, contacting you. Number two, the takeaway sale. Now, if you're having a conversation with a guy, you may be wondering, is it okay for me to ask for his number? As a woman, is that going to seem kind of needy? Am I going to seem like I'm too desperate to make something happen? Well, there's a way to do this where he feels like you're still high value in the situation. If you're the one, for example, who is saying to him, listen, I have to get back to my friends now. So you've been having a great conversation. Then you say, I really have to go. I have to get back to my friends. We're supposed to be on a girl's night right now. And I'm going to get in trouble for talking to you any longer. But listen, why don't we uh, exchange numbers? And if we get on over the phone, uh, we'll keep talking. There are a couple of things I like about this. Firstly, when you first said you had to go to be with your friends, he got that initial feeling in his gut of, uh-oh, um, I should do something now, or she's gonna leave and I'm not gonna get her details. You then make it really easy for him by saying, but before I go, why don't we exchange details? So now he gets the relief, you can exchange details, but you're the one who's leaving. So it's not like he's leaving and you're like, oh, before you go, let me get your number, right? Because that might seem kind of desperate. And I love that little line of, if we get on over the phone, we can keep talking. Because then it sets a little uh, hoop for him to jump through, which is, hey, I kind of like you, but you haven't completely won yet. We still have to see if we get on over the phone before we see each other again. Number three, the venue change number exchange. When you're meeting a guy for the first time and you're like, hey, how's it going? Are you enjoying your night? Oh, really cool. And then five minutes later, you're like, so where are you guys headed after this? And they say, this place. You can say, me and my friends were thinking of headed there too, but we don't know what it's like tonight. I tell you what, when you get there, you should tell us how it is. Now he has the opportunity to say, oh, definitely. Well, give me your number and I'll text you when I get there. Simple, easy. All you have to do is ask them where they're going next, suggest that you were thinking of going there afterwards, and then say, you should let us know what it's like when you get there. Number four, the we're all cool exchange. <laughs> These are getting more mental as we go. I'm gonna keep going. This is the we're all cool exchange. Now, what does that mean? I sometimes think that we put too much pressure on a number exchange as being like, I like you, you like me. Let's exchange numbers and see what happens. Maybe we'll be happy together. And then everyone gets awkward because they're like, oh, we're clearly exchanging numbers so that we can go on a date. Sometimes you want it to be a bit more casual than that. So you'll meet a guy for the first time. You're with your friends. He's with his friends. And you know what you say? You just say, hey, you guys all seem cool. We should all hang out sometime. Let's exchange details. Then it becomes about you and your friends all being cool, him and his friends all being cool, and you're just 
exchanging details as cool people. Let's all hang out sometime. Super casual. Now the downside of this is that when you start texting the guy or calling him or he calls you, you have to flirt a little more to show that intention so that it doesn't just become about two groups of people and he doesn't even know that you like him. But in the beginning, when you need that kind of premise for exchanging details without looking too strong or coming on too strong, this is a nice casual way of doing it. Here's the thing, ladies, I know that you don't wanna be the one to make all of the moves. You want him to ask for your number and, and make that part easy. But the reality is most guys are kind of awkward in that phase because they don't wanna look like the only reason they talked to you in the first place was to get your number or that they're asking someone they barely know for their number. They wanna look cool. They wanna look like they're normal people. They don't wanna look creepy or desperate. So by kind of meeting them halfway, if it's by suggestiveness or by outright giving your number to someone, you're making their job a little bit easier. I'm not suggesting that you keep following that pattern of always doing that little bit of work for him because the reality is when he actually starts communicating with you by phone or text, you want him to be making that investment. But you get to judge that at that point. You know, you get to see if he's actually making the investment and you don't have to tolerate anyone long term who isn't making the investment. But in order to even see if it could go anywhere with someone, you do have to exchange details in the first place. And I'd hate to think that you're missing out on opportunities to talk to guys or to develop relationships because you didn't make it easy and he was too awkward or nervous or didn't quite know how to do it without seeming creepy. And as a result, two people who were great for each other both walked away and never saw each other again. That would be the biggest tragedy. By the way, guys, if you enjoyed this video, a lot of you have heard about this before because I released it recently, but I released a program called How to Talk to Men. And in it, I literally have 59 scripts that you can use to learn the exact things to say to men in different dating and relationship scenarios. So if you haven't got that yet, you can go to getthescripts.com and find out all about it. Otherwise, I will see you in next week's video. Take care, guys.